Hey there, Sharon Horn Elstrom here. Welcome to day 63 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today we're going to talk about levels of consciousness in our conscious mind. We need to understand our brain and how we think and how things work in our mind in order to set goals and get the best possible results for ourselves when it comes to our mental well-being, our mental health. So today, I'm going to try to keep it short and simple. This is a really complicated topic. There's a lot of different ways of looking at our levels of consciousness. You can look at how much attention or how alert we are with respect to consciousness. And with that, they, you know, there's different ways and there's lots of different parties that classify things. But in that, there's five levels of consciousness. Consciousness. It's a, it's a mouthful. Alert and awake. Daydreaming preoccupied hypnotic or trance state, which is one of my favorites when I want to de-stress, sleep and dream state, and as well as unconscious, I guess there's states, right? There's states of being as and, and being aware, being awake, knowing what our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions are, how much do we actually experience and feel them in different levels of consciousness. And then the other way I like to categorize, and the most, most of the time when I'm thinking about my conscious, my consciousness, I think my subconscious, my conscious and my super conscience. Now, the subconscious is, of course, things that are running uh, on autopilot in us all the time. If we had to think about batting our eyes or blinking our eyes, batting our eyes, blinking our eyes or breathing, we would have a problem because it would take up so much mental capacity and mind power, we wouldn't really be able to get much else done. If we had to actually know how to digest our food on a conscious level, we would be in trouble. So, our subconscious manages almost everything on autopilot for us. Our conscious mind is what pays attention to what's important right now, what's urgent right now, what do I need to think about, pay attention to, decide on, uh, choose, etc., cetera, in, in order to move toward what it is that I want. And our super conscious, science and uh, spiritual people disagree a little bit whether there is a super conscious or not. I personally contend that there is and that we are connected to some kind of a higher energy, higher knowledge, higher power, whatever it is and whatever that looks like and feels like to you. I personally choose to believe that we are all connected and that there is a super conscience, but it's up to you. You don't have to believe it. I mean, just because scientists haven't got absolute proof, which probably more and more they are, but <clears throat> it's up to you to decide what you think. So we're just going to think about our thoughts today and our level of consciousness and awareness and then share in the comments below uh, where do you think you spend most of your time uh, depends for me personally there are some days I spend a lot of my time on autopilot my subconscious is running the show 90% of the time and there's other times when right now I'm I'm helping out with my two granddaughters one's brand new two weeks old and <clears throat> I have to be aware. I have to be awake. I have to be alert. I have to be paying attention, especially with her two-year-old sister. They they need a lot of conscious awareness and attending to, and it's fun. It's so fun. But where do you spend most of your time? That's it. That's all we're going to do today. And then tomorrow we're going to dive in. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend the day each talking about the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and how to how to make sure that we're managing it. It's not just managing us. And then we'll talk about the super conscious too, just because I think it's such a fascinating topic. If there's some other way you'd want to categorize or look at that, hit me up and let me know and we'll tweak our discussions accordingly. Otherwise, have an absolute, fan absolutely, boy, I need more coffee. Fantastic day and I will be with you tomorrow.